Hey guys, Team Pokemon here, and in today's video, we're gonna be quickly talking about what you should be bringing to Seattle Go Fest. Now, obviously, this is an in-person event, so only people who are actually in Seattle playing the event are able to play, but uh, if you are there, I'm giving you guys what you're gonna need to bring. Now, we learned a few things from Berlin Go Fest is one, the whole weekend, even on the days that you are not playing your event, it's gonna have boosted shiny rates. So make sure you bring a bunch of incenses and I'm recommending a lot because unfortunately, they're not three hour incenses, right? So you're gonna wanna bring at least eight for day one because you want one for every hour and you're gonna at least i'd say bring four more for each of the other days so yes i know 16 incenses sounds like a lot but come on you you're gonna want those boosted shiny rates for sure then you want to take advantage of dark rye and cresselia raids if you do not have that shiny uh those shiny sorry i love dark rye so i'm gonna be doing a lot of dark rye raids you know me dark rye my favorite pokemon but now we're gonna talk about pokeballs great balls and ultra balls real quick and honestly, I'd say you need to bring a lot. I am right now trying to get my Pokeballs up and stuff from Starly Community Day, preparing for this weekend. I have 462 Pokeballs, 354 Great Balls, and 282 Ultra Balls. I'm probably going to be trying to get um, 350 plus Ultra Balls, 500 probably Great Balls, and then f at least 500 Pokeballs. That is my goal. So, again... Comment down below if you guys are going to Seattle Go Fest because I will be there and I will be saying hello to anybody that comes up to me. And also, real quick, if you are going to the event, do not put premium lure modules down. We learned from Berlin Go Fest. Obviously, I wasn't there, but in the videos that people posted is that you do not want to put premium lure modules because it takes away from the unknown spawns. Just put a normal lure module that will still bring unknowns. And then you, I'm also bringing, I mean, look, I have a lot of golden raspberries from all those Mewtwo raids. I have 560 golden razzes, so I have golden razzes for the whole weekend. Honestly, I'm prepped. I'm super prepped. But I would say you probably want 200 golden raspberries, um, maybe 100 pineapple berries mixed with silver pineapps, and then you're going to also want to bring just normal raspberries and stuff like that. It makes it easier to catch Pokemon. It's Pokemon like Snorlax with the cowboy hat is going to be almost impossible to catch probably without golden razzes at points, unless it's a really low CP. But um, yeah, I'm super excited for this event, super, super hype. And again, I'd say probably you want a total of a thousand balls minimum. Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, because you're going to need it for the whole weekend. You know, it's not just the one day because boosted shining rates throughout the city the whole time with the spawns. I mean, come on. You're going to want to take advantage. Trust me. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and quick keyword actually, Seattle, because we're going to Seattle. And, um, you know, we're really, really going to enjoy this event. I cannot wait for this. I'm super, super duper hyped for this event. And make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for this awesome event. It's coming up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have a vlog out on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you guys check that out. And another keyword really quickly, golden raspberry. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.